In this video, we're going to go over the results of our bulb scoring experiment. And just to remind everybody what that experiment was, we took daffodil bulbs, uh, some that had been hardened off for about six months. So that means we let them sit on the counter for a little while to get completely dry and devoid of moisture. And then this set was um, bulbs that I had just freshly dug up from the garden. And the idea is that we were cutting through the basal plate and um, then hopefully the idea was that we would get these little bulbils to form that we would be able to pick apart and replant. Um, so I'm going to go through, before I had just been giving you pictures of things to look at, now we're actually going to go through and count the number of bulbils that have formed. Okay, so here I've got one, two, three, three, uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, you're going to be a bulbil, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Wow, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ooh, this is a money maker. Uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So it looks like out of the, did we start with 25 bulbs? Twenty-five. We started with 25 and we ended up with 70. That's a pretty good increase. That's like you've almost tripled the number of bulbs that you've gotten of daffodils just from using these hardened off ones. Some of these we can see are already starting to make green leaves. Um, so you might want to put that in your observation that on the hardened off side we already have some leaf development. And now I want to pull one of these out to show you guys what it looks like on the bottom of this. This is, this is so crazy. Come on you, oh, come on, you can do it. We Remember we planted these upside down so that the basal plate was towards the top um, and the part that would normally come out as a bulb is upside down. Um, and here you can just see how big those roots got. They, they went down into the ground from the basal plate here and then in the center of this basal plate is where we're starting to see the new meristematic growth for the tissue that um, is going upright. So, so when people are really concerned about the direction that they're planting their bulbs in the spring and they need to know whether you want to do pointy side up or pointy side down, looking at something like this, it kind of tells me that it might not matter which way you plant your bulb, the bulb will figure it out. Uh, it, now if we had planted it right side up, we probably would have gotten leaves a lot faster and so the daffodil would have bloomed earlier. But if you plant your bulb upside down, um, it's not going to matter. The roots will just grow down instead. Okay, so that was the hardened off set. Let's go through and count the fresh ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh, there's one in there. Thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 46 on this side. So we've almost doubled the number of bulbs uh, that we've done with our fresh setting, uh, but we've almost tripled them with hardening off. So you can really see that hardening off your bulbs before you propagate them has a pretty big effect. Now when I pull this up, and I look at them, I'm not seeing that prominent root growth structure. Oh, here's one that started to go. Okay. So that's going to be kind of the difference here is that your fresh bulbs are, they will still start to make um, these little propagules, uh, but it takes them a lot longer to be able to root. And so maybe it's just kind of waiting on the rooting portion 
uh, before it will fully start to make these propagules. Okay. All right, so that was a pretty cool experiment, right? We got to see a pretty big difference between using hardened off and fresh bulbs.